Hello. Today we will be talking about a few artworks by Spanish painter and sculptor Pablo Picasso. Picasso was a widely known Spanish artist who created many famous paintings and sculptures. He was the, one of the most influential artists of the 20th century. He was the co-creator of Cubism along with Georges Braque and helped spread the Cubist movement. One of Picasso's most famous Cubist artworks is called Le Demoiselle d'Avignon. This painting is of five prostitutes of d'Avignon and was created in 1907. This was during the Cubist period. This painting is one of the most famous examples of Cubist artwork. Picasso strayed away from traditional composition when painting this artwork. He tried to emphasize the two-dimensional nature instead of creating the three-dimensional illusion. The figures appear to be flat with sharp angular lines adding a realistic look to the woman. Their faces were inspired by Iberian sculptures and African masks. The five women all seem to be posing. The two middle prostitutes lift up their arms to show off their breasts and flaunt their nudity. Their gaze and soulful eyes of the figures makes it seem almost as if the women are staring directly at the viewer. The blue, brown, and white background creates a dark atmosphere and adds to the theme of the painting. This painting reflects the dark, complex problems Picasso faced with lust and his relationship with women. He hoped to use the power of the art to combat sexual disease and prostitution. This artwork took nine months and a few hundred sketches to create. It illustrates Picasso's true genius and passion for his art. This artwork was a revolutionary act against the ruling principles of Renaissance art. It contributed to starting, spreading, and popularizing the Cubism movement. It also started an explosion of abstract art. This artwork is now on display in the Museum of Modern Art in New York City, New York. Another one of many famous paintings by Picasso is Woman in Hat and Fur Collar. This painting was created in 1937 and is of Marie-Therese Walter. Walter was his love between 1927 and 1935. Picasso had a daughter named Maya with Walter. As seen with many of Picasso's artworks, he tends to tie in his love life into his works. Woman in Hat and Fur Collar was painted in the City of Romance, Paris. Picasso used his unique style to paint the mother of his daughter Maya. Picasso's relationships with women have always been interesting to art historians. Because Picasso was married to Ogla Klaklova at the time, many were surprised that he so openly painted Walter for the whole world to see. Some still debate whether he painted his mistress with his wife's permission or not. This work of art follows Picasso's traditional style of cubism when painting people. The painting seems to show the subject's face and her side profile all simultaneously. Some art critics think that the merging of the face and side profile of the woman symbolizes Walter's internal conflicts, possibly the guilt she faced when being involved with a married man. Others thought this painting was a juxtaposition of Marie Walter and Dora Maar. Seeing later works from Picasso, it is easy to distinguish the woman in hat and fur collar as Marie Walter. Picasso typically uses brighter colors when painting Walter and darker colors when painting Maar. Picasso uses contrasting colors effectively, which adds a flow to the artwork. He also uses many different colors in Walter's face to draw attention to it. The subject in this painting has a yellow face with blue, white, and red facial features. She is wearing a red, black, and green hat and a red and black colored shirt. The background is a light greenish color on the left side stopping at her hair. The right side of the background is a light grayish color that starts directly on the right side of the subject. This painting is very interesting because it was painted at an odd time in Picasso's life. At this time, Marie Walter was becoming jealous because Picasso was starting to fall in love with Dora Maar. One day, Walter and Maar had coincidentally met in Picasso's studio. The two ladies demanded that he choose between them. Picasso said that they would have to fight it out themselves. At that moment, Walter and Marr started to wrestle over him. Picasso and Marr would go on to have a relationship that lasted more than a decade. Marr struggled with depression during and after their relationship. This inspired Picasso to paint another famous painting called The Weeping Woman. Picasso painted The Weeping Woman in October of 1937 after one of his many mistresses. Dora Marr was a subject in this work. Picasso said, For me, she's the weeping woman. For years I've painted her in her tortured forms, not through sadism, 
and not with pleasure either, just obeying a vision that forced itself on me. It was the deep reality, not the superficial one. Picasso would always paint Mar with darker colors to express her sadness. Picasso said, Dora for me was always a weeping woman, and it's important because women are suffering machines. Mar's depression inspired the title of Picasso's famous Cubist painting. This painting has a light yellow-orange background and was made with lots of detail. The weeping lady is holding up a handkerchief to wipe her tears. Picasso goes into detail with oil paint which adds to the emotions of the painting. He uses angular overlapping lines in the subject's face to show the true emotions of the weeping woman. Picasso also uses a linear perspective to emphasize the two-dimensionality of the painting. This painting is very intriguing because of his color choice. Picasso's mix and blend of many different colors makes this painting unique and an influential painting in art history. Overall, Picasso was an artistic genius who contributed to the art world in many different ways. He will always be remembered as one of the most influential artists of the 20th century and on. Along with co-creating Cubism, he also made many contributions to symbolism and surrealism.